Bedtime Story narrated by Miss RR. Learning about No by T. Albert. Sophia was excited. She was now in the second grade and it was her first day of school. As she finished her breakfast, she looked out of the window and saw all her friends waiting for the bus. Mommy, can I ride the bus? she asked. Yes, Mommy said. Sophia was even more excited. She jumped up from the table to go to the bus stop. Then her mommy said, yes, you can ride the bus next week, but I'll walk with you to the school for the first week. Sophia was sad and confused. She thought her mommy said she could ride the bus, but then kind of changed the answer. Sophia wondered why her mommy just didn't say no, at least when she wouldn't have gotten so excited. Oh well, Sophia sighed. Let's go. It is a long walk. Several days later, the music teacher talked with Sophia's class. She explained about all the instruments and had the third graders demonstrate each of them. Sophia heard the flute and thought it made the prettiest sound she had ever heard. Can I play the flute? Sophia asked. Well, that depends, replied the music teacher. First, you need to get your parents' permission and then join the band. You also need to know that learning to play the flute or any instrument takes a lot of hard work. Now, if you are willing to put in the work and your parents let you join the band, then the answer is yes. And I would be happy to have you join. We need another good flu test. Sophia was so excited and couldn't wait to ask her mommy. School was over and as Sophia walked out of the door, she saw her mommy waiting. She ran down the sidewalk, yelling out, I want to play the flute. Can I play the flute? I want to join the band. Calm down, Sophia, her mommy said. Sophia took a deep breath, counted to three, and said, Can I please play the flute in the school band? Yes, of course you can, her mommy replied. Oh, Sophia was so very happy. She had gotten permission and was now going to play the flute in the band. Her mommy then said, Yes, you can play an instrument, just like I did. The tuba is a great instrument and you can even have mine, the same one I used when I was in band. Oh, poor Sophia. She was so sad. She wanted to play the flute, not the tuba. Sophia just didn't understand why her mommy said yes when she asked but really meant no, at least no for the instrument Sophia really wanted to play. Maybe I won't join the band, Sophia said in a low sad voice. Well, that's up to you, her mommy replied. As Sophia finished her breakfast, she looked out the window and saw all her friends waiting for the bus. She was so very excited. This was a special day. The week was up and she could ride the bus with all her friends. She squirmed in her chair as she gulped down the last mouth of milk. Bye, mommy, she squealed as she ran towards the door. And if I can't ride the bus, Please, say no. It is easier for me to understand. Learning about no. In this time of change, many people believe that the word no is, shall we say, a less than positive word and shouldn't be used with children. Everything should be positive. It is becoming a yes world, but maybe no still has its place. Please share the link with your friends and family to support the mission of Monkey Pen. Thank you. Thank you children for watching. Till next time.